In Magic, we talk about these next-level moments, when you suddenly see the game better, more clearly, your ability to play has improved and advanced. Except, those next-level moments are usually not had in isolation. In short, we are taught them. Our son is approaching the age of preschool. As luck would have it, there is a very respected, highly rated and regarded, and quite frankly, all-around excellent co-op preschool near us. It's a non-profit institution run by people with masters and PhDs in child development and education. It believes in parental involvement and input. And on our tour the other day, my wife and I, both professors and educators ourselves, were highly impressed. The director of the school talked to us about how most preschools now assign homework, worksheets, things like that, which are meant to prepare the children for the sort of standardized testing and yet more worksheets that they will be submerged in throughout K through 12. But then the director told us that at this preschool, there was no homework and no worksheets, that his research and studies have found these to be a hindrance to child development. And so they were not something that was practiced at this school. He told all of this to us as though he were trying to convince us that this was okay. I imagine many parents of the past being shocked and even appalled at him that this was a preschool with no homework. Actually, he spoke to us in kind of the same persuasive manner that the doctors did when they, you know, told us that we needed to vaccinate our kid, like they had to convince us of this. Then, too, I just got this impression of a great deal of resistant parents needing to be convinced. Of course, with this, and as obviously with the vaccinations, vaccinate your kids! Educational philosophy of no homework and no worksheets, this is something that my wife and I were already on board with, and it just sold us on the school. But then, what the director said to us had us reaching across the table to shake his hand. He told us that, really, all these worksheets throughout a child's life are being used instead of one-on-one -on -one tutoring and guidance, but that parents actually sitting down and playing board games with children is so much more effective and actually gives them that necessary guidance. Better than any lesson, better than any homework, better than any worksheet your child will ever take home from school, be they in preschool or 12th grade, is the simple activity of parents sitting down with their children and gaming. Any games, all games, the director told us. Board games, puzzles, chess, cards. The developmental and cognitive and social and all-around benefits of your kids just sitting and playing these games with their siblings, with their friends, and of course, with their parents, with you, is where his philosophy as an educator lies. When you sit down to play a game of Magic the Gathering with your kids, you are guiding them through the concept of rules and thinking critically about the world around them. Never mind things like sportsmanship and good behavior, Magic the Gathering and other gaming has numerous intellectual benefits. It benefits your children through things like pattern recognition. It develops their ability to predict the outcome of alternative moves. And of course, to learn from experience. These are good skills to have in life. A successful Magic player, a successful gamer, must learn to control their impulses, to follow the rules, to reflect, to use number sense. And all of this is like a muscle. It can be strengthened with experience and practice. Giving your kid a board game isn't enough. Giving your kid a pack of magic cards isn't enough. Having you sit down and play with them, having their siblings and their friends play with them, to both teach and guide them, is the key component. Then they can discover that skill is not written in stone, but rather malleable, flexible, and improvable. That errors in their gameplay can be detected and corrected. That they can always get better with thought, consideration, and effort. When you sit down and game with your kids, you are giving them lessons in the skill that is most lacking from people in today's society. 
the skill of critical thinking. There is no worksheet that teaches this. It is something only you can give to them. Magic the Gathering, board games, video games are not just games. They are not frivolous entertainment, meant only as a pleasure for when real work has been completed. It is the best thing you can do for your children, the best you can do with your family. Looking at these photos, there is no homework assignment that would be more productive use of these people's time. And I got so many letters from people saying, my family really and truly is the people that I game with. I got letters from people saying, when I get back together with my brothers and sisters, we sit down and game because we did as kids. I really am surprised every time I hear people ask me, Will I teach my son Magic the Gathering and other board games? My goodness, why wouldn't I? I can't wait. Thank you for bringing Tolarian Community College to the amazing level of 100,000 subscribers. I owe you everything. And yes, I will be doing the 100K Q&A. Post your questions in the description below, and I will make a selection of as many of them as I can, hopefully a bunch of new ones that I will answer in an upcoming 100K Q&A video. Happy gaming, everyone. Happy gaming.